Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the view of Earth, I have some No Man's Sky news, because this was the last blog that Sean of the Murray wrote about the Halloween and the Cursed update. Well, there's a new blog! There's a new blog by Sean of the Murrays. Let's go and hit that up, shall we, people? Let's jump on over and let's have a quick little gander through this to see if there's anything new that we can discern from this. So it does talk about the No Man's Sky 5 Pro, well, I'm sorry, PlayStation 5 Pro, and the new cross save. And not only that, it mentions about Normandy coming back inside of the Beachhead Expedition. Now, Sean of the Murrays did say in the previous blog that there were several, several things, several surprises left to come this year. Well, I think this is the full several surprises that we're going to see now, people. So scrolling through here, you're just going to be pretty much reading exactly what I said. This is the first time that you can see a console sporting up to 8K at 30 frames per second. And at 4K, I believe it gives you 60. Yeah, that's 60 frames per second. Pretty darn freaking phenomenal, especially if you like taking photos inside of the No Man's Sky verse. That's going to be up to the nines. There you go, cross save. I've actually been enabled for cross save now. Now, if you want to see how to enable cross save and how to utilize it i put a video up there go hit that up for your cross save needs so that's two surprises already and then the normandy returns now i have fired up my playstation in the background i will be jumping over because there's something quite odd inside of the write-ups it says that you know that we're going to be running it for about two weeks well, it's already pretty much run the two weeks. It should be ending this Tuesday. This Tuesday, then, what is it, the 19th of November, I believe? Yeah, the 19th, it should end. However, something rather curious has happened inside a game, and I'm wondering whether it's been extended. But, you know, don't quote me on that. Anyway, what else have I got for you from Sean Murray Watch? Well, over on the Twitterverse, Sean of the Murray's posted out that there's been two lots of bug fixes version 5.26 so here we go let's uh, scroll on down and there's a whole host of different bugs that have been fixed here this one was affecting me massively so with the boundary herald ship on some planets the majority the vast majority of planets it would have difficulty landing that's been tweaked that's been fixed and also the actual animation when getting in and out of the ship has also been fixed which is lovely and there's also a fix here about the discovery servers i have had quite a lot of issues with the discovery servers and i'm wondering whether that might be part and parcel of why i'm not seeing bases appearing on my playstation 5 again like i mentioned i've hit up my playstation 5 it's on in the background i will be jumping over to that in a moment and we're going to be testing to see if bases are appearing okay so there's a few for cross save there again that might also tie into the bases who knows there's a lot of texture optimization and optimizations for vr optimization optimization when it comes to load times on pc i did find that my pc was taking longer to load in than my playstation 5 but um, now i say they're equally on par which is a good thing because i've got an ssd inside of my my pc that's probably better than the ssd inside my playstation so there we go anyway lots of different sorts of issues there have been fixed there's also a fix for rendezvous 2 and the game crashing and i think that might be inside of 5.27 so here we go there we are fix the relative flying the starship over land okay fine brilliant fixed an issue that could cause some ship types to fail to find a landing site well that's kind of like the ufo one as well but there we go there's quite a lot of bug fixes there now i'm hoping that my playstation has updated to per version 5.27 so we're running the latest version so we're going over and we'll have a look see on the old playstation and see how we're going got a few different sound things i've got to change on streamlabs obs so i'll reconvene Hello, chum. so here i am over on the old playstation so if i just pop on over here if i hit this and go to information i might just have to change my view so you can see well, what update version i'm actually on so i'm on version 5.27 it's just below us right there and it's only just updated 16th that's that's today isn't it yes updated right now okay right well let's um let's just check make sure there's no other updates sitting there there's not let's jump on in then okay so there is something rather curious for me to say about uh beachhead as well as i mentioned earlier why do i think it's been extended so let's have a look at that first before we test to see if bases are rendering in as yet there we go 
So let's load on on and let's go to play. And then if I hit new game, oh, it's just syncing my, my cross save. Lovely. Sweet. Anytime now, download in progress. There we go. New game. Look, it says 10 days, 10 days remaining. So that's almost like it's given us an additional week. Now I'm thinking that they've given us an additional week, mainly because there was problems around Rendezvous 2 and the crashes. And they've only just fixed that in these two latest patch sort of rounds. So I think they've given us an extra extension onto the days. OK, all right, so there's that, people. At least that's what I think has happened. Right, well, let's jump on in then, and let's see how we get on with loading into game, and let's see if we see some bases. Oh, no man's sky! Anyway, I'll see you when I'm in game. Right, well, look at this. I'm on my PlayStation 5, and I am seeing base markers now, people. It looks like whatever they've done in these latest two rounds of patches and updates may have fixed the issue. In fact, I'm pretty confident to say that they have, but let's just jump on over to the Discovery screen and let's just see what sort of base count we're seeing here on this planet. OK, so if I hover over there, 29 bases are being seen right now. On PC, there is apparently 71 bases on that planet. When I log into PC, I see 44 as the total. But the other day, I was not seeing anything like 29. This is brilliant. This is fantastic. I, I'm going to class that as pretty much fixed. Now, on PlayStation, I've never seen it load in as many bases as I do on PC. When you go up to the actual portal inside of a station or whatever, and you try to portal down, I usually see about 12 to 14 bases captured inside of the portal on my PlayStation. And then on PC, I see maybe double that, you know? But that's awesome. I would say that that is now fixed So people inside the view of us, if you did have problems with your bases, thank you very much for getting in touch with us with that video. I did send it over to Hello Games. I hit up a few people there. I saw that it had gone to scene. I even had the odd reply to say we're looking into this. It looks like they have fixed it. So salute to Mondo Hello Games. Thank you very much for your prompt action on this one. This is a massive step up for the PlayStation and console players that were having problems problems with seeing bases that seems to have fixed it whatever you freaking did it's freaking worked so salute to mondo thank you very much and everybody like i say who actually chimed in and helped out with this thank you too because you know i thought it was just limited to me but as soon as we started seeing other people's names and platforms hopefully that gave them a lot more to work on than just my jibber jabber until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again oh Something I didn't mention was the Reduxes for the Christmas period. There's been a lot of speculation about what those expeditions might be. I've just reached out to a few in the modding verse to ask them whether they can confirm what Reduxes we're going to see. I'm waiting on replies from them. But to be fair, I think it's probably going to be four Reduxes. And I think it's going to be the ones from this year, probably Orbital and Adrift and perhaps Aquarius and maybe even the latest one that we just had, you know? The cursed. It could be those, but I don't know. I think they might not do the curse because we've only just bloody finished it. But anyway, there we go. I'll just drop my joypad. Until next time, cheery bye. <laughs>